got a new special guest today on the channel. This is uh, Norman, Norman England to be exact, author of the fantastic book, Behind the Kaiju Curtain. This year will be my 30th year in uh, the land of the rising sun. Kind of started out in this business as a writer, working mostly for Fangoria magazine during like the whole J-horror heyday. I started out on Gamera 3, interviewed uh, director Shusuke Kaneko, and then I did a Nakajima Satsuma piece on the, the suit actors. But yeah, that was really good, and that was like kind of the beginning of my doing set visits, which is covered in my book, which goes from experiences with Gamera 3, Godzilla 2000, Mega Giras, and then the book ends with GMK, because I was pretty much on the GMK set just about like every day, going from live action to special effects. So uh, the Godzilla sets were, you know, awesome. They were great. I've been a fan my whole life. So it was really like a dream come true to be able to do that. And that was like kind of a thing I wanted to give back to the community. I know you're not a, a toy collector, but if you were to find one toy, what toy okay, would you hope well, to find? I'm actually, these days I've been obsessed with finding, and I, I printed it out to share it, the Godzilla toilet paper dispenser. Now, I actually had this, it's made by a company long gone called Beatland, and I actually had this back in the 80s. I just lost it in many moves that I've made, but this thing is like, you can never make this today, even though they do have toilet paper dispensers, you know, with Godzilla, but the awesome thing about this, if you can see, the way it cuts the toilet paper here. I'm like now obsessed with like finding this again and I've found it on auctions in Japan, but it's not like impossible to find, but it's also like over a hundred bucks. And again, if I was like to my wife, hey dear, we've got this dangerous finger cutting Godzilla paper dispenser. You know, if I said I paid 10 bucks for it, she'd be like, yeah, fine. Anyway, I'm looking for this. I want this. So this is like my new obsession is to refine this and add this back into my life. Good morning, everybody. It is approximately 10 o'clock a.m. here in Tokyo. I am headed to Nakano Station to meet up with one Jean-Luc and one Norman England for breakfast at Komeda Coffee. And today I have a special gift for Mr. Norman England. Stay tuned to see what it is. How you doing, Norman? Kind of early, but here I am. <laughs> Beautiful knock -in. Yes. How are you, Jean-Luc? I'm all right. Well, Norman, <clears throat> I brought you a little gift. Okay. This is a, this is a uh, housewarming gift. You recently married. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. That's my ball and chain. <laughs> so, on our very first video together, there was something that uh, you were after. And it's taken a bit of time and patience. Yeah. But uh, thanks to a friend. I'm afraid to look at what this is. Thanks to a friend in the States who brought it all the way here and walked it to my house. Here it is. Well, this is very oh awesome. Gosh. Oh, and the, the condition's incredible. Damn. Wow. It's, I don't know if there's any it's blood. It's an empty box. <laughs> Hopefully there's no blood stains on the metal part, but. No, this is the thing, it's like I had this thing back in the 80s and I loved it and I set it up. Wow, this thing is like immaculate. Damn. And the thing that I loved the most about it was the saw blade oh on gosh, this yeah. thing. I mean, feel that. Let me, let me cut myself real quick. Feel that blade. Oh, Go ahead, feel it. It's like his teeth. That's from a Herschel Gordon Lewis movie. Yeah, that line in that. 2000 maniacs. Oh, yeah. 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 But anyway, whoa, whoa. No, but I love this thing because this thing would never be allowed to be sold today, yeah. um, anymore. So they actually do have, you know, new ones. Yeah, they got Very safe. Yeah, child safe. Turn that off, though. <laughs> <laughs> 